Great Lakes State at Spartan Stadium is the site for our game. Before we head down to the field for the coin toss, we'd like to remind you this game is brought to you by Coke Zero. Real Coke taste, zero calories. Enjoy everything. Michigan State is kicking off first, and we're ready to get this game underway. He sends this one deep. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. You know, Herbie, for an offensive coordinator, he's got to love this kid. Fields' decision-making abilities make him very effective against any defense he's ever played, really. Well, defenses have to put pressure on him and not let him get comfortable. If you allow him to scan the field, he'll simply pick you apart. If you can disrupt his rhythm, it'll give you a chance of at least shutting him down. The defender had his hands on it, but it's incomplete. Terrific coverage, and when you clog up passing lanes like that, you can force a quarterback to make some poor decisions. Almost got themselves a turnover, too. Zips it to the back. From their own 21-yard line, third down. And he's sacked. I mean, as an offensive lineman, this is the worst thing that you want to see. Is your quarterback not only getting sacked, but getting hit like that. Those linemen better pick that quarterback up and start doing a better job of taking care of him. They get this one off, and it's a beauty. He gets hit out of bounds. Around the 48-yard line. The quarterback leads the team out on the field for the first drive. The ball changes hands on the punt. Nice opening stand by the defense. Boy, the crowd is loud and did their part. Now if they're able to move the ball downfield, they can take control of this game early. Brought down at the 35. And a nice pick up there. I'll tell you what, the defense gambled a bit here and came with the blitz. And the quarterback showed tremendous poise by making a good read and delivered a nice ball to the open man. We've got a first and ten. Ball on the 35. He's scrambling. Bumble, loose ball. Picks up the loose ball. He really wanted that ball, didn't he, Kirk? Uh, you can't teach hustle like that. The linebacker was determined to get the ball there, and he did. Every drive's important in a tie game. I look for both sides to come out with some urgency. Here's the give. Gets out to about the 31. Slings it. He's taken down at the 49-yard line. Good pitch and catch there on second down. Yep, it was good enough to get him the first down. That's just a nice play. Quick throw. It could be that the offensive coordinator is trying to lure the secondary in to play more press coverage. And then they'll try to take advantage by going deep. Those safeties better be ready. And a quick throw. Tackle right around the 44-yard line. Dumps it complete to the halfback over the middle. He's tackled at the 39. The defense didn't stop the pass, but they stopped him short of the sticks. And that's the important thing here. Allow him to make the catch, but make sure you tackle him before he gets to the first down marker. Ohio State could take the lead with this field goal. Kicks away. And he hooked it left. 
Well, sometimes when you see a kick like that, the kicker is trying to compensate for a factor, maybe like the wind, and he thinks he can hook it back in. It didn't happen that time. I don't think either team has a clear advantage so far. Let's see if they can make some plays and get a little separation. Flags are all over the place, and they'll blow it dead. False start, offense. It's so tough to move the ball forward. Even a five-yard setback can do damage to a drive. So the penalty makes it first and 15. And he makes it out to about the 37-yard line. Collins gets around three on the halfback draw. They come out in a five-wide set. Flushed out, and he's going to get sacked. That was a loss of three yards. That makes it third and 15. From their own 34-yard line, it's third down. Set. Green 95. Green 95. Huh? They'll make the sack. And that is one inspired defense right now. And that's how you put a stop to a drive. That is an outstanding job with a pass rush. After the sack, it's now fourth and long. Hunt awaits the snap. Wilson fields at the 31. He makes it to the 42-yard line. Boy, this is just a defensive battle so far, Kirk. Well, it's a combination of a couple things, but I think the defenses are playing well, but I think the offenses at this point are making it a little bit easier for them. So let's see if these offenses can get it going a little bit to try to challenge these defenses. They've got to play with some focus and smarts here. They don't want to make a mistake and suddenly find themselves trailing. And he's taken down at the 45-yard line. Good solid running right there. Getting past the defensive lineman and into the secondary before he could be stopped. They tried to get a head start there. False start, offense. Little stumbles like these can kill your offensive progress. Still, Still first, first down. down. From the 50. First down. He's at the 40. Makes it to the 37. Gain of 13 yards. That makes it second and two. And they get nice yardage on that run. What is going on with his defense? I mean, don't get me wrong. The offense is doing a nice job with first downs, and they're executing well. But the defense is just letting them maintain possession and move the ball right down the field. They've got to try to change things up with their scheme. Be more aggressive. Attack. Do some things to change it up. Take some risks. And they make the stop around the 27-yard line. That screen pass nets maybe five yards. It's a well-designed play to the halfback, and it worked at least to get them a medium gain on the play. He's going right. Incomplete. Almost picked off. It's third and five. Ball on the 27. Pressured and brought down. It looked like they caught the quarterback by surprise. Well, that's a great call by the defensive coordinator. They send him off the corner, and he just uses his speed to get the sack. Fourth and long here after the sack. Ohio State is looking to go up by three. It's up. No good. He pushed it to the right. The 
This is a fun game, and I think we're going to see a lot of interesting football before it's over. Fires incomplete. He was looking for the tight end. From their own 38-yard line, second down. Good job here by the defense. If you let this quarterback set and throw, he'll kill you all game. But they got excellent pressure on that play. It looks like they're going to go after this punt. You know, a lot of people in college football might find these types of games boring, but you look at the start of this game, this is good old-fashioned football, partner. I agree with you, Brad. I think sometimes you look at games, and if it's sloppy offense, that's one thing. But when you see two defenses go out and play with a great deal of emotion and dominate a football game, sign me up for that every time. Quick out to his receiver. Tackle made around the 25-yard line. That's a game of seven on the play. That'll bring up second and three. Hey, check Makes the grab and out of bounds. That was a six-yard completion, and we'll have first and ten coming up. Heads up play by the quarterback to find his receiver in traffic and get the ball into his hands. When you've got a quarterback making throws that quickly, the defense doesn't have a lot of time to react to the play. He's to the 40. He's at midfield. And he's tackled at the 32-yard line. First down. Pass incomplete, trying to get it to his receiver. Number two, the intended receiver. It's second and ten. Ball on the 32. Goes after the running back, no good. Number eight was the intended receiver on the play. That brings us third and ten. He launches one for the end zone. This one will fall incomplete. You like a team that's ready to defend the pass. It takes some preparation to get in the way of a pass like that. It's fourth down. So the kicker comes out. He'll try to put three points on the board. Ohio State could take the lead with this field goal. It's up. Looks long enough. And he got it. and ready for the kickoff. He really got a hold of that kick. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. Ohio State's got a great defensive game plan, and it's working right now. Well, even from up here, Brad, you can see their defensive speed, and they're just playing with kind of an aggressive attitude. They're going to have to maintain that to slow down this offense. And while they are behind, they know they can knock things up in a heartbeat. It's way too early to change your game plan. Here's the throw, and I don't think he got anything on that. At the 25 yard line. That makes it second and ten. Second down, 10 to go. Ball on their own 25. Let's go! Wide 80! Check, check! Stingray! Stingray! Screen pass. He's got his half back. Out of bounds. Right around the 34. for a nice run. From their own 38-yard line. First down. Big opening. And he 
Chiefs tackle after positive yardage. That's good for a game of seven yards. That makes it second and two. And down he goes at the 43. Now he took the pitch there and was able to get the first down. It's a nice option play. First down, 10 to go. Ball on the 43. On play action, he'll scramble. They'll bring him down at the 39-yard line. On the tackle, gain of four on the play. That'll make it second and seven. Makes it out to about the 30. And this is the eighth play of the drive. And he's immediately tackled. That brings up second and one. And a great ball game so far as we reach the end of one. The Buckeyes with a three-point lead. Welcome back. Tight game here in the second quarter as we begin play. Inside the 10. Huge play, and it's going to be first and goal. First down, and they've got their eyes on that goal line. Brought down just outside the goal line. That brings up second and goal. And this is the 11th play of the current drive. Touchdown, Michigan State. And he converts the extra point. So an 11 play, 74 yard drive. And they put up seven points. Michigan State lines up for the kickoff. And he got all of this one. Great kick. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. There hasn't been too much daylight between these two teams. In games like this, some players try to press too much, and that can cause mistakes. Run right side. Got some open field. Number eight with the carry. That's good for a game of 10 yards. That'll make it second in inches. He makes it out to maybe the 36-yard line. That's good for a gain of one yard. That makes it first and 10. Four down, four down. Hey, check by 45. Check by 45. Let's go. He makes his way to about the 45. That brings him second and one. And they got him for a loss. The offensive line needs to do a better job of not only handling the defensive linemen, but getting up to the linebackers. That way the ball carriers will have a little bit more room to get to that second level. So it's third down now, and they're going to need about four. In 
inside run, and he's hit hard. I think anytime you lose yardage, it's frustrating as a ball carrier. It's very frustrating as a play caller. Makes you a little bit more hesitant, maybe, to go back to a certain play. The biggest thing you want to do as an offensive coordinator is get the offense over the sideline after the series, make sure everybody's on the same page, and then show the confidence that you still have in them despite this play that you're going to go right back to the running back and trust that offensive line. He's taken down at the 16. Momentum swings have been fairly even. And with so little separation, this game can be drastically changed on just one or two plays. Michigan State is up four. And they got to him before he could get back to the line. If this offense keeps running at this guy, they're going to have to rethink some of their play calling. Second down, about 12 yards to go. Ball on the 13. Somebody jumped early down there. False start. Offense. That penalty will move them back a bit. Yeah, and with so many young guys out there, it's bound to happen occasionally. Gets to about the eight yard line. Nothing there on the keeper. No gain on the play. That'll bring up third and long. They line up at the eight. It's third down. When you feel pressure like that, the worst thing you want to do is just to throw the ball into coverage. He got away with one right there. He's very fortunate. Next time, he should just throw it away out of bounds. Hunt is the punter. Wilson takes it at the 45. Tackle made at the 35. And he was able to pick up some nice yards on the return. In a game that's this close, you can't afford to waste possessions. Black five, black go. Nice run up the middle. Game seven on the play. That'll bring up second and three. Gets it out to the tight end, and he can't hang on. They need about three yards to get the first down here on third down. He's tackled around the 26-yard line. He gets it up, and it's long enough, and it's good. Ohio State kick this one off. He just drills this one. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. Momentum swings have been fairly even. And with so little separation, this game can be drastically changed on just one or two plays. Michigan State is up one. He's taken down at the 26. From their own 26-yard line. Second down. Tries to get out of trouble, but he can't shake the defense. That makes it third and 15. And he throws right away. And it's caught. And they push him out at the 38 yard line.
from their own 38 yard line. It's first down. He's on the run. Slides down. So the quarterback picks up about eight on the scramble. Taken down at the 41 yard line. First down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 41. Ready! 390! Tackle after a decent run up the gut. Collins gains about five yards on the run. That makes it second and six. Michigan State up a point. Ready. Just throws this one away. This is the eighth play of this drive. Pass is tipped away. Nice job getting a hand on that one. Yeah, really good heads-up play there to get a hand on the football by the defense. So it's fourth down. They'll call on the field goal unit. He gets it up. And it's off the crossbar. No good. In a game that's this close, you can't afford to waste possessions. Catches it and hit immediately for a loss. Drop back four yards on that one. Well, that's just a sound play by the defense. They dropped him well short of the line of scrimmage. We've got a second and 14. Ball on the 32. Tackle around the 46 yard line. That's good for a game of 14 yards. Third down. He fights forward to about the 46. Too easy, too easy. Throws out to the back end. He can't hold on to it. Second and 10. Ball on the 46 yard line. They'll spread the field with five wide. Caught with room to work. And he shoved out of bounds at about the 47-yard line. That makes it third and three. Third down, and they're going to need about three yards to pick up the first down. Here's the halfback on the screen. He's knocked out of bounds at the 42. That's good for a gain of five yards. First down. Five guys will be out in the pattern as they're in the shotgun. And he's hit immediately. That play was going nowhere. Yeah, give a lot of credit to the defense here. Recognizing pass and swarming to the receiver. From the 41-yard line. Second down. Just throws this one away. And this is the ninth play of the current drive. Delivers to the half. 
Young back on the screen. Steps out of bounds around the 38 yard line. Ohio State can take the lead here with this field goal. It's up. And he missed it left. No good. Momentum swings have been fairly even. And with so little separation, this game can be drastically changed on just one or two plays. Michigan State with a one-point lead. Throws a laser across the middle. He's brought down in the open field. So it's second down and about two yards to go. What impresses me so much is the guy's vision. He read the coverage perfectly to find his man for good yardage. And they make the stop at the 47. Game one on the play. That'll make it 31. Here we go! Tackle made around the 37 yard line. That makes it first and 10. We've got a first and 10. Ball on the 37 yard line. Strike to his receiver, no good. Moses, the intended receiver on the play. That makes it second and 10. Over the middle to his tailback. And he's tackled at about the 29-yard line. So it's third down, and they've got about two yards to go. The Spartans use their second timeout. Quick throw out to the receiver. And down he goes at about the 15-yard line. Boy, was he drilled as he let go of that football. Yeah, he's going to feel that one tomorrow. Here's the eighth play of the series. Michigan State is up one. Let's go. The 10. What a play, and that is first and goal. Quickly into the end zone, caught for the touchdown. He makes the PAT. So a nine play, 62 yard drive, and they come away with seven points. Looks like they're ready for the kick. He sends this one deep. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. In a game that's this close, you can't afford to waste possessions. They'll bring him down at the 38. Ohio State's going to have to use their second time out of the half. From their own 38-yard line, first down. He scrambled, brought down right around the 42-yard line. That makes it second and six. Scrambling around. He'll take it himself, and he hits him hard at the 48-yard line. That's a gain of six on the play. First down. He's scrambling, and they bring him down for a sack on the play. Ohio State's out of timeouts. It's second and 12. Ball on their own 46. Let's see if the quarterback heaves it up there and one of his guys can come down with it. He wants it all. Incomplete. 
We head into halftime with both offenses struggling. The Spartans in front by eight. Glad to have you with us in the studio for the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 Halftime Show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. Reese Davis and David Pollock here completely locked in on that first half. A tight, hard-hitting, low-scoring affair. Great hey, affair. This, this Great. Is right, you can say it like it is. This is right in your wheelhouse, Pollock. I mean, this, this is exactly in your comfort zone. No, absolutely. I mean, you like to see people flying around. You like to see defenses dictating to offenses and make them play on our terms. And it's it's fun to watch. It's something that as a great every great defense prides themselves prides themselves on tackling. You know, you didn't see very many missed tackles in the first half that led to big plays. And try to limit those big plays. And when they do get down towards the red zone, make people kick field goals. And that's that's how you see dominant defenses year in, year out. And, and that's what we're seeing today. That's it for us here in the studio. What are you going to do in the second half while the game's going on? Yeah, I'm going to kick back and watch all these monitors. We'll keep you up to date on everything going on around the country right now. Time for the second half with Brad and Kirk. Welcome back, everybody. Second half action about to begin. He really got a hold of that kick. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. So now both teams come trotting back out onto the field. Michigan State holds an eight-point advantage. He makes it out maybe to the 26-yard line. That's a game of one on the play. That brings up second and nine. Second and nine. Ball on the 26-yard line. Now he's scrambling. And he is drilled at the 34. Short yardage situation here. It's third and one. And they get nice yardage on that run. He's into the open field. That's a great tackle at the 48. That's a deep turn. That'll move the chains from their own 48 yard line. First down. Run, 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 run. Brought down after a nice run up the middle. Game of six on the play. That'll make it second and four. That quickly incomplete. Third down again. That'll bring up third and four. Michigan State up by eight. Let's go! And a quick throw. He's tackled around the 44 yard line. Proctor makes the tackle at the 44 yard line. That'll make it fourth and two. They look like they've got the block on, and this offensive line's got to give him some time. This punt bounces into the end zone, and this will be a touchback. There's still plenty of time to keep running their offense, as usual here. I don't think they need to feel any anxiety about trailing. He tackles him for a loss. Second and 11, ball on the 19. They spread the field in the gun with five wide receivers. And he 
And he's going to come up with a sack. Defense hoping for another sack here on third and long. He's going left. Caught the 50. Inside the 30. To the 10. He's all the way home. Touchdown. They need to tie it up here. That's exactly why they're going for two. Let's make these babies crawl the way back. And off to the left. Lost the ball. Fumble. So a short three-play, 81-yard drive. And they'll come away with six points after failing on the two-point conversion. You know, you always prepare your offense to think that we're going to have some success. But these guys kind of be coming over the sidelines after touchdown, after touchdown, saying, man, I, I didn't expect it to be this easy. The score now, 14 to 12. Their last drive resulted in a punt, so let's see if they can put together something a little more promising here. Michigan State holds just a two-point lead. Taken down in the backfield. Loss of two on the play. That'll bring up second and 12. From their own 23-yard line, it's second down. Hands off up the middle and stuffed. That took a little too long to develop. Yeah, the offense was trying to get the pass rush going up field, but the defense did a nice job of sniffing out the draw play and hitting them in the backfield. Quick toss. Pulls it in, first down, and he's knocked out of bounds. From their own 35-yard line. It's first down. Catches it, and that's all. Everything about that play was crisp. The route, the throw, the catch. That's fun to see. From their own 40-yard line. Second down. Ready. Green 19. Green 19. It's a great run, and he's brought down in the backfield. That is a loss of three yards. That'll bring up third and eight. Michigan State with a two-point advantage. He's taken down right around the 44-yard line. From the 44-yard line, first down. after a decent run up the gut. This is the eighth play of this drive. Zips it to the back. Tackled for a loss. Taken back a yard. Not much going on there. Those kind of plays will not work against this defense. You can be sure of that. Third down now, and they need to get it down to the 34. Red. 
Look at the scramble down. He can't get away from the pressure. A great defensive end in, in college football just pins his ears back and has, again, that extra instinct to know when to jump the snap count, when to take a chance on third down. And it seems like they almost save their extra pass rush and extra incentive as far as their, their energy when it really matters on a third down, when they feel like they can beat that offensive tackle and get off the line of scrimmage a little bit quicker. And that's something that I think we've seen him do throughout this game. Hunt awaits the snap. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. I was really impressed with their last series. They came out with a focus on the passing game, and the offense got the job done. We'll see if they have the same strategy here. And he's tackled after positive yardage. Gain of five yards. That brings him second and five. Throws out to the running back, no good. From their own 25-yard line, it's third down. Halfback's got it on the quick throw, and he's taken down at about the 23-yard line. Fourth down upcoming as they go three and out. That brings us fourth and seven. They've got 10 guys up. They're coming after the kick. And he can't hang on to the ball. That's a tough break. Whether you lose the ball or not, it can mess with your head when that happens. The quarterback leads the offense back out onto the field as we get set to resume play. Michigan State is up two. Comes it right to his fullback. Tackle at the 36-yard line. With the reception. That's good for a gain of one yard. That brings us second and nine. From their own 36-yard line. It's second down. Let's go, defense. Try to set up a little screen. Gets it to his tailback. Knocked out of bounds at the 37-yard line. Just throws this one away. Wilson is back awaiting the punt. He makes it out to maybe the 33 yard line. This deficit can be easily overcome, sure. But they have to be thinking if they don't get something going on this series, the burden is going to be felt by their defense. Fires out to his receiver. Tackle made at the 42-yard line. Call it a gain of nine yards. That brings up second and one. He's at the 40, at the 30, to the 20, the 10. Touchdown, Buckeyes! They'll go for two in this situation. Ohio State holds a four-point lead. He's in for the conversion. Everyone's all lined up and ready for the kickoff. He kicks it off, and he got all of that one. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. 
The Buckeyes staff has got a winner on their hands. You've been around kids like this. They're just fun to be around. They're, they're fun to be around, and I think it's infectious. His attitude, I think, uh, permeates throughout this entire offense and really uh, throughout the entire team. There's, it's no wonder this team is so competitive with him at the, at the front leading the way. Throws it out there. In and out of his hands. Second and ten. Ball on the 25-yard line. Here we go, Cut. Now he's flushed and they got it. Call the loss of four yards on the play. That brings up third and 14. Quarterback all by himself in the backfield Ready. with five wideouts. He gets rid of it. Oh boy, almost intercepted. Reed is the intended receiver on the play. Fourth down. Wade awaiting the return. Wade fields it at the 37. He wasn't breaking that tackle. What a hit. The Spartans have really surprised everybody in this football game. They have not been intimidated at all, which is great to see. The attitude and effort of this team put them in a position where they got a shot to win this game here in the second half. So it's time to see this offense go to work again. This defense couldn't stop them from moving the ball and inevitably finding the end zone. And down he goes at the 44. That makes it second and two. That's three down and one to go. Ohio State's lead is six. Welcome back to the action. Fourth quarter. This one will decide it. Tight ball game through three. Ohio State up six. Passes to the back, incomplete. It's third down, and they're about two yards shy of the sticks. You've got to wonder here, early in the fourth quarter, if that stop and a play like that might be the momentum swing this team needs to win it. Doesn't want to let the punt return or have a chance here. He just wants to change field position. This punt goes over the goal line, and this will be a touchback. Well, this is a very competitive game. Just when you think one team has gained the advantage or the momentum, the other team comes fighting back, and it's going back and forth. This is almost like a basketball game. You know this is a real crucial time in the game. It could still go either way. Go, go. Go, go. Runs it right. Nice pickup. From their own 25-yard line. Second down. Catches it and he's immediately tackled behind the line. Brown takes him down for a loss behind the line at the 24-yard line. That'll bring up third and six. He's got it out to his tight end, and he hits him hard at the 26-yard line. That makes it fourth and four. Hunt is the punter. He's tackled at the 39-yard line. Things aren't tied, but they might as well be. It's this drive that could really dictate the tone for the last quarter. Ohio State with a six-point lead. Quick throw out to the receiver, incomplete. Second down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 39-yard line. Fires it 
fires to the wide out. First down. Brought down at the 45. Looked like both sides tried to get away with some shoving while the ball was in the air. Here's the call. The referees agree that the receiver was the one who got too much of a push-off. Yeah, sometimes people forget the receiver is held up to the same standards as a defender when it comes to getting separation. So it's second down and long now after the penalty. And he's tackled right around the 28-yard line. Man, watch out here. They'll bring him down at the 46-yard line. Excellent punt. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. Both teams realize that when the ball is snapped, we're one play away from a very different ball game. He's out to the 30. And they push him out at the 39. their own 39 yard line first down and he's level at the 47 about three yards to pick up the first down. Watch number 12, watch number 12. Let's go. He gets to about the 41 yard line. And they make the stop at the 42. So they wrapped him up before he could get anything going. Yeah, there was nothing there on that option. From the 42-yard line, second down. They spread the field in the gun with five wide receivers. And a quick throw, and he shoved out of bounds at the 29. it out to about the 20. And this is the eighth play of the drive. Takes it up the middle for a nice run. We've got a first and ten. Ball on the 16-yard line. Mike three. Mike three. Fires out quickly to the tailback. He's tackled around the five-yard line. And 
this is the tenth play of the drive. They get nice yardage on that run. That brings him second and goal. It's second and goal. One yard to the goal line. All the big boys are on the field now. Both teams have their big sets out there. And we're all tied up. Trying to take the lead. Here's the extra point. And he tacks on the extra point. Michigan State gets set to kick this one away. Excellent kick. He's to the 20. Tackle made at the 25-yard line. Ohio State's been unable to really show that they're the team to beat here, but it looks like they're going to get another chance at it. Well, it's now or never. This team has put themselves in a position where they have to hope for some heroics late. It's because they played sloppy most of the game. They're very fortunate they still have a chance to be able to win this game. They'll spread the field here. Let's see what the defense does with a five-wide outlook. Quick strike to the receiver. He's hit and taken down. Gain of eight yards. That makes it second and two. Less than three minutes in the game. He's taken down at about the 41. That's a game on the ground. First down. And they've got the dime package in there to try and deal with this five receiver look. He's got his man across the middle. And he's taken down at about the 47 yard line. First down. He tries to buy some time. Tackle at the 44-yard line. The offense going to try to open this field up, coming out in a five-wide set, and the defense counters with their dime look. Tackle made around the 31-yard line. That makes it first and ten. He scrambled. <laughs> Dives forward. Somebody from the defense has got to be able to step up and slow down this offense. Right now, this offense appears to be in a rhythm. Let's see what the defensive coordinator can dial up to see who can make this play to stop this offense. First down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 13. Big play, and it's first and goal. That makes it first and goal. The lineman got a little ahead of the snap count. Here's the call. False start offense. Sometimes what happens on a false start is a lineman will see movement on the other side of the ball and be coaxed into jumping early. It's first down, and they'll be looking for six points here. They'll wrestle him down in the backfield. Think about the speed and instincts it takes for a linebacker to get from his position into the backfield to make a play like that. That's well done. We're at play number nine of this current drive. Just under two to go in the game. Pressure coming. And they got him. This quarterback has to do a better job of avoiding the rush because sacks can be real drive killers. So here it is. Crucial third down as they try to take the lead. And he's tackled after positive yardage. And he keeps it on the option play and picks up six. Michigan State's going to have to use their second time out of the half. There's a little bit of happy feet down there on the field. Let's get the call. False start. It's so tough to move the ball forward. Even a five-yard setback can do damage to a drive.
Kicks away. And it's puts the uprights. Ohio State's got one of the best quarterbacks in the business. He played like one on that last drive. Well, that drive was huge to set up that game-winning field goal. The quarterback at times just looked so relaxed back there like he was just playing a video game, just making good decisions and moving the ball right down the field for that game-winning kick. And he got all of this one. Great kick. He makes it out to maybe the 20-yard line. The Spartans have played poorly all day long. That really doesn't matter right now. They've played sloppy. They're not going to be happy when they go back and look at the film on Monday. But with all that being said, they still have a chance to win this game. And at the end of the day, that's all that matters is trying to get that W. The quarterback in the gun. Empty backfield. Five wide receivers in the formation. And down he goes. Right around the 26-yard line. Five, maybe six yards there on the scramble. The spike will stop the clock. From their own 26-yard line. Third down. A little over a minute in the game. He's on the run. Just a tremendous job by that defense, and their coordinator did a super job there to keep it this close in this ball game. And now the offense has got a chance to win it. Let's go! 180! 180! Somebody jumped early down there. Ball start, offense. Well, that penalty drives them back, and they're shooting themselves in the foot here. Well, if they could just keep their concentration, they'll avoid situations like that. So it's fourth down, and the offense is still on the field. Ready. Under pressure. Wow, what a battle, and what a stop right there. Congratulations to that defense. That's going to be the ball game. Here we are late in the fourth quarter in a very important and a very tight football game. And who's going to come to the forefront? We'll see who's got the most leadership. If you're an offensive coordinator, you love this play. His quarterback will take a knee. So it's second and 12. Ball on the 12-yard line. And this should be a kneel down as they just try to kill the clock. Nothing more demoralizing for a defense than seeing the opposing quarterback take a knee. Fields is the star of the game. Kirk, it's as simple as that. He played a great game. The whole team played a great game, and they won it. That's yeah, the important part. Yeah, Brad, he had an excellent game, and really kind of what we expected coming into today's game for him to be able to step up and show that he's one of the top players in the country, and he really didn't disappoint at all. While individual accolades are great, I'm sure he'll tell you the fact that his team came away with a victory is really the most important aspect of this game.